Hello everybody. So uh, in this screencast, we're going to look at a new library that enables us to parse JSON uh, easily uh, without having to do these kind of castings that we did before where you have to cast it to a dictionary and then sometimes even cast it to an array of dictionaries. Uh, if you have an array of objects, uh, for example, in the person's example that we had, you had uh, a person's uh, value and that's an array and then inside that array you have persons right a person so each one of them is a person so you look here this is a person so basically it's an array of dictionaries and we had to do all of that stuff and just it just very confusing also in addition we had to uh, inside the objects themselves we had to go and do this kind of casting where we cast the the value to a string and it just it's 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 a little bit more involved but using a library, there is a very famous library that we can use in partnership with Alamo Fire uh, to enable us to do parsing of JSON. And that library is called Swifty JSON. Okay, and I'll I'll include the link for that in the uh, in the in on 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 the course website. But you could see that Swifty JSON, or in the video description, I'll add that also. Uh, Swifty JSON is the library, and basically you just have to follow uh, the instructions on how to install it. Basically, you just add this pod into the pod file. Okay, so we have to add this to the pod file. If you go back to the project, you see uh, that I already added it to the pod file and ran pod install and so on. And we are looking at the workshop workspace. So now, how do we use it? Now, if we go back to the uh, documentation, you will see that how do you use it? You basically, uh, if you're retrieving the data, we, there is this new JSON thing that we are going to use, capitalized J, capital S, O, and N, and then we'll use it from there to build uh, the JSON objects. So now let's see how we're gonna do that. So basically, let's say we go here, we need to import Swifty JSON, okay? Now, if you look at the code that we had here, until here, we had to do this kind of casting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. I'll say the data is JSON. You see, this one is Swifty JSON. And then we go in here. And then basically, it's just, it's an any, right? So basically, I'm going to look for, you could see that it can change data, types of data. It can also get, I think it can get a, a parse from a string a json string and so on and then there is one which is i think you just uh, doesn't have a parameter and that's from any you see here it can come in from any okay so now basically i'll just pass it the value which is response dot value and then then this gives me a um swifty json uh, it gives me a swifty json date uh, data right basically it gives me a just swifty json data now if i print data and if you run it we are bringing in the persons right so basically if you go here if we run it you will see that it's going to print here we are it's going to print it like this okay and you can see it looks a little bit different uh, from uh, uh, the dictionary uh, approach it's actually it's it is printing something that looks like json right so basically this JSON now, I want to get the persons, right? So basically what I'll do, I'll say let persons JSON, right? Equals data of what? Persons, right? So basically because it's here, persons. And then I'll say dot array value. Basically, this is how the casting is done. All you have to do is just point it to where the parameter is, and then you go and tell it print uh, it's an array value. Right, so basically this is an array that we are retrieving here, right? And then if I go here and I print this JSON and you run it, you will see that it is here, it's printing the whole array now, you see? And then to go from this to a person, you just have to say for each person, JSON in persons, json okay print person json so basically it's very very similar to what we did before i'm just going to print each one of them it's a it's an array because I, it, I indicated that it's an array so instead of doing the casting you just use the library to perform the casting and you can see that it's printing them one by one one two and so on now i'll change how we create these persons i'll create 
let's go back to the data model and what i'm going to do is i'm creating an, i'll create another constructor i'll call it init uh, let's import the json library here import swift the json i mean library now what i'm going to pass here i'm going to say init and json and it's going to be json okay so basically i'm going to pass a json object here that i'm going to use okay now this json object will have for example the age right so basically i will say self dot name or let's do the name just to follow the same uh, steps that we followed in the other constructor it's going to be json of okay name and then i'll say string the string value of that okay i'll say self dot age equal json of age and then the age is what is the age a number yes so basically i'll go here i'll say dot int value okay perfect so self dot uh, id equals json that's the one that had problems in the past right i'll say id and then it's a string so i'll just say dot string value all right so now when you run it let's go back to the view controller here i'll say let p equals person of this type and then i'm going to pass it the person json right and then i'll say persons dot append p okay and let's put a breakpoint here so that we could see oh you need self dot okay to refer to these persons now let's run it and see okay you look at the self persons and you could click here you could see here is the age here is the id and here is the name right perfect so now if you want to get what if you want to get the address so we can do the address too it's straightforward also so we go back to the data model i'll create another uh, initializer for the address that gets this capital g json right so here it is and then the same story i'll just copy this stuff from here put it here and then instead of that i'll say dot the line is a string so i'll say string value and i'm just using the library right? i'm not going to do the casting this way it makes life much easier instead it get me a string value and we're good to go right so basically how do i do that here how do i create the address here i'll just say uh, self dot address equals address of json and then it's what it's json of address i'm good to go i don't have to do any casting when you say json of address it returns back a json uh, object okay let me run it again okay all right we are here and you can see the address is also populated correctly the library is amazing it it, it really uh, makes it much much easier to code all you have to do is tell it what type of object that you uh would like it to 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 return the value as and instead of doing all these kind of castings that we had to do we just tell it that i want the name and i want the string value of the name or it's an integer value of the name and also in when you are referring to arrays you just tell it that i want an array you say data of persons and i just want an array and then you can loop over that array and this is going to be an array of basically the uh, json objects that you have okay uh, this is the library is very easy to use please let me know if you have any questions thank you